Um, what happens with crime folks is when um, the folks have uh, pillaged and, and stolen all the stuff that they can in their bad neighborhoods, it starts to go into the nicer neighborhoods late at night and, and stuff like that. And that's happening right now. I just saw uh, where a Gold Coast liquor store was broken into the guy had bulletproof glass um, on this store and there was like nine guys it was a busy street you watch the video they got cars going by left and right and these guys are using an axe to um, to bang in this uh, glass proof window so they could go in there and steal alcohol and the registers which they did they got away with one bottle. The guy said it was worth $6,000. I don't know if, what kind of, if it was whiskey or what, but it was a $6,000 bottle of alcohol. And he said they dropped many other ones that were high priced. So uh, they really didn't know what they were doing, I guess. But they got the cash registers. That's what they were looking for. So um, I kind of wonder these days with um, all the, you know, people are so, so scared uh spread thin when it comes to cash people are using their credit cards people are using buy now pay later people are stretched thin i mean i go to the atm and i look at the receipts that are laying around you see like people withdrawing 20 dollars and maybe they got 50 bucks left in their account um you go to the gas stations and you see people if you look around at the pumps around you People are pumping like five, ten, twelve dollars into their car at a time. Um, getting bad, getting bad. And actually, I was, I was, uh, I, I was at a, um, I, I was at my dentist this week, and the guy ahead of me was paying for something, and um, his credit card uh, was denied, and the lady tried it twice. So um, I don't know whatever happened there, but. Um, I've been I've been at grocery stores too where people people didn't have enough money and had to like put things aside and um and I think too we one time where a lady was just so embarrassed her credit card was denied she just left the whole cart there and walked out so um <clears throat> things are getting bad things are getting bad it's starting to show in the economy folks um check out my series of economic collapse videos where we show you some of the, the the visible things in our economy that are, are are glaring and flashing red lights, right? The the red flags, the red flags in the economy that you should be seeing, and they're telling you to wake up. Um, so so some of those two are the stock market. Stock market took a little hit yesterday. Some of the high flying stocks um, came down aggressively yesterday so um there's people predicting that we should see a potential 10 percent correction in the stock market by november just their just their opinion but uh, um a lot of people a lot of people you talk to a lot of uneducated people you talk to always state that the stock market is high flying and our economy is great um further from the truth folks further from the truth and a lot of times those people don't realize the economy and the stock market are not correlated. It's good that the stock market's going up, but, um, you know, it's possible that it could come down at any moment. So word of word to the wise, um, you know, like I said, I, I lived through the 2008, 2009 financial collapse and, um, we're head, we're headed to a similar type of event. And um, it's going to be worse this time because there's multiple bubbles out there. Housing market here in, in Illinois is about ready to pop. Um, there's no no one's selling their houses. There's no inventory here. So at some point, people are going to have to sell. And there's going to be a lot of hurt as a result of that if they have to sell. Not necessarily want to sell, have to sell. Um, there's some spec homes being built around here, but they're overpriced. For what you get, they're overpriced, but um, not a lot of existing homes on the market here. They're pretty scarce, and when they do come up, they're selling. They're selling, and they're overpriced. They're definitely overpriced. They need to come down about 20%, I would say. 
Um, so that's it's. I think I think the housing market is collapsing in some vicinities, in different states. I've heard like Austin, Texas is collapsing. Um, some places in uh, California, like San Francisco, I think I heard. So it's starting. It's it's going to be localized. It's not going to be across the board. Um, we'll see what happens with the Fed. It sounds like they're predicting now a September rate decrease, which when they start decreasing rates like that, it's going to impact the market too. So um, be careful, folks. Be careful what you do with your money. We're not giving financial advice, but uh, just kind of telling you to watch out. Be careful. You might want to get yourself some of this stuff. This stuff continues to keep going up. I think it's heading to like $32 now. So it's back to a recent high. And who knows where it's going after that. So... Uh, just got myself some, got an order like two weeks ago, a week ago. Very happy. SD Bullion. Check them out on the internet. SD Bullion, one of the best <laughs> silver and gold uh, precious metal companies out there. Very happy with them. Tell them the DJ sent you. And uh, I think we'll we'll end that here today. Like, sh like, hey, hit the like button, guys. See, we got some people out there. Hit the like button for me if you would. Share. And subscribe if you want. We got lots of good content out there. I just put some shorts out there for car shows. Had some car show shorts out there. Um, got a lot of food. Got some foodie shorts out there. Check those out. Um, and we'll end this show as we end every show with a hand slap and a see ya.